Welcome back to the kitchen. It is the, we're continuing uh, Kingsport Restaurant Week here, and I have Elise Claire from Main Street Pizza Company, and you're rolling out some dough for these raviolis. I am. I've got a few things going on all at once. <laughs> So I'm showing you the process. I'm getting the raviolis okay. laid out, and then you can mark them out with pretty much anything that's handy in your kitchen. I just have this nice little circle gotcha. to mark those, and we're going to start stuffing them with this lovely farmer's cheese. And farmer's cheese, I, it is really a great product. Oh, really, yeah. I love, I love farmer's cheese. So you can do this real simple at home with just right. some organic milk and a little white vinegar. Mm -hmm and set that up overnight and it comes out like a ricotta texture. Yeah, and it's re really versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. So we're stuffing our raviolis okay. and in the meantime, we've got a pan for our veggies going on. So I've already started the asparagus and some snap peas. Yeah. And that's just going in some brown butter to start. Brown butter just takes it to a nice nutty flavor. Right. Where I'm adding in some chopped ramps and the base oh. of this dish is going to mostly be about the flavor of those ramps. And ramps in, in popularity have, over the past few years, I think the, the cooking world overall has sure. found out about ramps. They I sure really, have. I mean, people that grew up around here know about ramps, but I think the rest of the world is catching on. Yeah, it's just a special treat. They come and go really quickly. They do, yes. And it's in super important to harvest them sustainably. So right. if you pull the whole plant, like we get them sometimes, we replant the bulbs on okay. our farm. So Very we good. have a patch that we've started on our own. Very good. And if you're out harvesting them wildly, leave a few. Leave a yes. few to, for the next year. You're only supposed to take about 10% yes. of your harvest. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, so now my pan has spinach and snow mm -hmm. peas and asparagus, the brown butter, and I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of white wine. Okay. And we'll get our raviolis. And you're going to take those up. Take these and Just fold, fold them over. over and press them down using that little circular shape right. to cut them out. Takes a little elbow grease, but yep. you get in there and get it. Yep. And use your spatula if it's stuck <laughs> like I am. There we go. And you just want to make sure you seal up all the edges so that mm -hmm. it does not fall apart in the boil. Right. And you actually have some boiling yep. right here. I'm going to lift I went ahead and did that. This only takes about four minutes. There we go. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and pull those. I'm going to pull those ready. over to the side. And we're going to start okay. plating up while we're waiting for our veggies to cook down. Okay. And you, you, this is going to be marvelous. I can just tell mm. that farmer's <laughs> cheese is all gooey in there. And those are well done. And how long do you let the ravioli? You can let them cook till they're floating. They're right? floating, yeah, yeah. It's about four minutes. Okay. And the great good. thing about these, you can prep them ahead and freeze them, which I did. So these are stuffed with some lovely ramp filling. Ooh. Okay. I can just imagine the flavors on that. Oh, that's so good. And you're just sauteing those vegetables down, making yes. sure that that's so all just wilted. Just a little bit stir fry. Right. Let's see how we're doing on the stove okay. top. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> And so you're going to let those cook. Mm -hmm. And once they cook, talk to me about you add some salt and pepper here. Yes. Just want to make sure you get it seasoned to taste. Yes, you've got it. Right. So while this is cooking, I would love to tell you about some of the veggies that we brought today are a representation okay. of our Right, because you brought them from your farm. Yes. Yes, so not just our farm, but other farms in the area. Right. Not just veggies, but we do all kinds of baked goods and pastas and even a meat share. So you can oh, get your chicken and right. your beef all local, grass-fed, uh, organic when we can, or non-certified organic when we can. So it's a conglomeration of local products, whether we grew it or it's from another local farm. And you can go online and get your own at www.startthefarm.com. Startthefarm.com. Hey folks, we're going to come back here. We're going to end up the show here in the kitchen. We're going to show you this finished product, but it is Main Street Pizza Company. It is MainStreetPizzaCompany.com for more information. They're located right there in downtown Kingston.